Okay, y'all, we back at it. Um, I'm back with my brother. Me and my man got some legendary interviews out there. Um, and we just continuing on with the legacy. I love sitting down with this brother because his perspective on the world, not just the world of hip hop, but his perspective on the world is always so on point. Um, please welcome my man, Ray Benzino. Ray, what up, kid? Hey, listen, man, I only got one title from a song that, 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 that explains you, Prez. Nate Dogg, nobody does it better. Woo! <laughs> I love it. Doing your thing, I man. love it. I love when man. we get a chance to sit down and dialogue like this, kid. Um, I'm looking forward. It's a lot going on in the world, and I'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts on it. Man, listen, Prez, like I said, man, we like, we got a real good chemistry, man. Let's just keep it going for 2023, because, man, it's getting weirder and weirder out here. <laughs> oh, my goodness, kid. Like, <laughs> let's go. I'm ready. I don't <laughs> know what's happening. Yo, you want to, let's, let's start, because, because, we could start off in a bad place because we done, we done took some losses in, in the world of hip hop in the, in the last couple of weeks, but let's start off in a good place. The Grammys. Grammys just passed. You get a chance to watch them? You know what, Prez, listen. The reason why, why we started the Source Awards because of, the, of just the, 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 the disappointment and disgust over how the Grammy treat, treat, Grammys treat, treats our culture. Um, that was the thank, thanks to the Grammys, the Source Awards was made because, you know, the, you would understand the Grammys are a bunch of older white people who know nothing about the hip hop culture. People, under, people have to understand that hip hop is more than the music, it's the culture. If you understand the culture, then you understand the music better. And the, the, the people that run the Grammys and that are on the board of the Grammys that select music. They're just, they're out of touch with our culture. And I second that, you know, they, they have been out of touch. So many um, artists have been very vocal about it for years. I, I, I believe, you know, in years past, you've had Drake. I mean, all, all kind of people, they, they, they just boycotted the Grammys altogether. Like, yo, what's the point of me even showing up? Y'all never get it right. Um, but that tribute performance, it felt like they got that right. That was a, that was a big performance. What'd you think about it? I didn't see it. I just don't. I, I, I don't tune into the Grammys. I just I just don't. Oh, so and you you, know, you one of them that don't, you you just completely boycott? Yeah, because what's I mean, you don't boycott nothing if you're still tuning in. Whether uh. you if if you don't go to it but you're still watching it on TV, then you really are you really are boycotting it. And, and and you know maybe they're trying to get it right, and maybe I'll, I'll probably go back. I'm sure I will. And go look at it just for the you know for the sake of hip hop, but you know what it's like, and this is why it's hard for me to to, to look at top fives and top tens. Billboard just released their top ten. It's just you know every interview I do, people always ask me what's your top five. There, what's your you just it's it to me it's a disrespect to the culture and the music when and to artists because you how can you do a top ten of something that's been fifty years old? Mm -hmm. how, how how is that possible? And 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 you know, tributes are good, but I think tributes are more better when, especially with as as rich as and, and successful as the Grammys are, then you know, more of a tribute would be putting more money in, into the communities of of the people in hip hop. That to me is a real tribute. Um, there's a lot of artists that don't get recognized who really was an integral part of this culture. And, and it's a, it's a, it's a disservice to always talk top 10, number one, and number two, everybody has had a significant, well, anybody with a significant amount of catalog has had hits. And then people have had songs that were just, you know, good songs that didn't resonate to the culture. That doesn't mean there was bad songs, but certain songs are hits. A lot of people had hits. Every time you 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 put somebody at a number one or a number two or a number five, then all the other ones are automatically going to get upset with you, anyways. So you, let's you know let's just think about that for a minute, and always stop trying to look for number ones, and and always trying to stop, and, and, and always trying to compete. We should just all be happy that based on what we go through out here as a culture and people, that we have hip hop 
to put money in our pockets to feed our to feed our families. I mean, honestly, like I just that's another thing, not just the Grammys, but the whole top five and top ten. You know, this is not what hip hop should be growing into at 50. It should be more unified and more of an understanding and 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 to understand that, man, where would we be without hip hop? And where would we be without everything that comes with it? So, you know, I me, I'm, this is just my personal fan, you know, and it's crazy that you did start it with that. And we try to start it positively. But with me, there's not too much I, I can relate positivity with when it comes to the grand. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.